Sacred Games has to be one of those gems that came out of this renewed Indian new wave of online content, intricately developing Indian idiosyncratic ideas, landscapes and stories in a limited number of episodes woven in a season format like many western shows. The show touches upon so many philosophical insights about human frailties, the emotional baggages of its characters and the latest season touches upon how nuclear accelerationism is a part of growing human nihilism and is confounded with human discontentment of what the world has become. The show rightly juxtaposes this discontentment by exploring these mythical Hindu concepts of tamas, sattvic, in close philosophical examinations. The idea that time is divided in these eras where Satyug is the era of truth and purity and one we humans should strive for to reach an utopia that can soften the blow of a dystopic modern reality of Kaliyug which is full of tamasic traits of greed, lust, violence, jealousy and lethargy. The show also grapples with philosophical ideas of nihilism which is an inherent form of meaninglessness of the world and thus can metastasize into a deep hatred for humanity. French philosophers Deleuze and Guattari talked about accelerationism of capitalism so that it runs unhinged and free to self-destruct and reach a critical point in time where social radical change can really happen. Here Guruji played by Pankaj Tripathi, realizes that humanity has to reach this so-called radical change by departing from the modern world perpetuated by greed of money, selfishness, lust and violence. His vision of new world is an ideology that requires sparking off all these negative virtues of modern day world. And by sparking contemporary tensions pervasive in our world, and the major tipping point in this show comes by accelerating this metastasization of tamasic traits by igniting tension between India and Pakistan by facilitating this Islamic terrorist outfit for a possible nuclear explosion set in Mumbai. And all this will lead to a full-blown India-Pakistan war and will catapult into a possible bigger all-gun blazing World War III and a possible nuclear Armageddon. This show grapples with the idea of how indeed humanity has lost its way where men kill each other, where money trumps common decency, where sex sales, and where religion is just a mere business of hate and fear-mongering. A protagonist, played by the brilliant Saif Ali Khan and Nawazuddin Siddiqui, displays this human struggle of giving into this looming nihilism and a loathing for humanity. On several occasions, they gave in to this idea of new world and through self-realization and remembering the beauty of human struggles and the good in humanity through simple acts of kindness, the idea of accelerationism of human evil seems so vague and contrary to the vision of Satyug and Utopia. Prominent nihilist and existentialist Nietzsche talked about how modern condition of humanity and its understanding of religion and power can be deconstructed through study of nihilism and this helped in understanding the postmodern efforts of deconstructing religious authorities, power hierarchies and social ideologies and constructions. Nihilism refused to peel off ideas after ideas to reach towards conditions that enrich humanity then they are conducive but if they reach towards this darkness and doubt of everything that is inherently good in this world that could tip into a seething hatred for this world. The show also dwells into what manufactures hatred in people, what motivates terrorism, what really motivates counter-reactionary religious conservatism. Through extremist, in form of religious terrorist outfits and various doomsday cults find their philosophy grounded in somewhat accelerationism of human evil and this us versus them narrative where they are the pure and rest of the world is corrupt. 
A prominent idea touched upon by this show brilliantly was one's self-worth. And how we see ourselves is very important in the way we perceive the world around us. Today we see two extremes, either the hatred for ourselves in such that we become so despondent, removed and depressed that we crave for meaning, or we become so self-obsessed, narcissistic and we consider ourselves superior to everyone around us. A middle succinct place where we respect ourselves and respect ones around us can lead to a better sense of self-worth and all of this has been confounded in the writings of Immanuel Kant. And this is the catalyst for change in heart of a protagonist in this show. The realization that they need to change themselves in order to see the beauty of humanity and fight for what is right. The idea of us versus them by not seeing humanity leads to a deep nihilism and hatred for this world. At the end of the show, we reach to this conclusion that even if you end this Kalyugi world, and even if you eliminate all of them who are of different religion, ideas and identities, we still have to live with the world inside of us. And we can purify the world around us as much as you want and as much as we want, but the world inside you, if remain untouched, will lead to nihilism and a deep depression that will eat you alive and frankly make you see the problem has always been you.